Think it's gonna be big? Woo! Punching down the pizza dough. It's a family event. <laughs> Here comes Jonah. Welcome back, y'all. It is Friday evening now. We're getting supper started. We made this pizza dough this morning. If y'all missed yesterday's video, I'll link it down below. Now we're gonna roll it out. We're gonna roll it really flat. So you see, these are gonna be kind of thin crust pizzas. Okay. We're gonna make them like as big as the big uh, sheet pans, okay? While Sissy's rolling out the dough, she's doing this one first. Then we have this one here. I'm gonna be, I don't have to shred the cheese because Ingles had their shredded mozzarella on sale. So I just went ahead and got two bags of shredded. We're gonna make a strawberry upside down cake, y'all. We've never made this recipe before. It has marshmallows in it. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Hey, who opened the marshmallows? I did. Was it you? Yeah. They yummy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> While she's rolling out the dough, we're gonna slice this red onion, bell pepper, wash these mushrooms. Uh, I have some black olives here, and then these are the strawberries. We just need one pack of those, I think, for the cake, but Ingles had them on sale, so I went ahead and got two. And we need strawberry jello for the cake. We're gonna get the pizzas in the oven first, then we'll get the cake together. So for the pizzas, this one will be half cheese and half pepperoni. And then that one is gonna be half supreme and half pepperoni. First of all, let's make sure it's got enough flour up under here that it's not <laughs> sticking everywhere. I'll flip it over here. On my first day of Christmas. You got it? Yeah. I'll be getting the pans out for you. Is it that floppy? You know what? I think we can make a little, a small pizza too from this. Yeah, we've got enough dough here to do a small pizza. Yeah. Let's get this one. And I here. am helping y'all. You are helping. And I am doing squishy time. Okay, you do squishy <laughs> Okay, we're gonna make this one all pepperoni now instead of half pepperoni and half cheese since we have the smaller dough here. This one will be only cheese. We're gonna put the pepperoni on here first. Jonah's spraying the other pan. Tyler's rolling out the dough. This one, when I get the pepperoni on it and the oven beats, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in for about 10 minutes without the cheese. Then we'll add the cheese on top and let it cook another 10 to 15 more minutes. Shouldn't take too long since we're doing thin crust here. Okay, so Tyler, yeah, we'll just do the one big pepperoni then and one big supreme. Daddy's home! <laughs> okay, same thing with this one. We're gonna put the pepperoni, peppers, and onions and all that on here first. Then we'll go back and add the cheese. I was gonna get some Italian sausage to put on this one too, but I didn't want to have to cook it before I put the pizza together, so it's been a busy day. I already had to go to town twice. Yesterday was a busy day too. Tyler had an orthodontist appointment. We had a couple of other errands to do. Then we had to turn around and go back. So yeah, tonight, easy pizza. <laughs>
guys. Titus is sampling the toppings on the Supreme one. We better hurry and get it in the oven. We'll be having to chop up more toppings. <laughs> Jonas is the best at Jonas is good. <laughs> really good. I mean, this is great too. He wanted everybody to taste test it. <laughs> he put a lot of cheese. He, he put, put a lot of cheese. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this cake in the oven. So I sliced up a pound of strawberries, put those in here, then we mixed it with this strawberry glaze. Now we're gonna pour over this uh, pack of strawberry jello. I think we just need one pack. Sissy's getting the white cake mix out. We're gonna make it just like the box says. Okay. Next, the marshmallows. That's what it says, y'all. That's what it says. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, there's some in the other refrigerator that are already washed. So when Sissy finishes with the cake mix, we're just gonna pour it over the top, spread it evenly, and it goes in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. Or until, you know, toothpick comes out clean for the cake part. Of course, there's gonna be some moisture on the bottom with the strawberries and strawberry glaze, but when the cake part is done, it's done. And we take it out and let it cool all the way, and then we should be able to flip it out of here. I don't know, we'll see. If we see that that's not gonna work, we'll just cut the piece out and flip the piece over. Okay, y'all, it's showtime. We're about to see if this works. I'm gonna just go around the edges with a knife, just so you know if there's any stickage going on there. That breaks free. We're just gonna put it on this cutting mat. Are y'all ready? <laughs> I think it worked. Whoa, it worked. It looks great. Doesn't it look good? This is gonna kind of be like strawberry shortcake, but we gotta find out about these marshmallows, y'all. We have whipped cream for the top. Okay, y'all. First of all, it's great. It's absolutely great. It tastes like a strawberry shortcake, upside down. The marshmallows uh, seem to have just, you know, melted and disappeared within. So I don't know, you know, exactly what the marshmallows do for it, but it's really good. I mean, y'all saw we put the marshmallows everywhere, but they just melt, I guess, and then you just can't see them, and I don't know but really good. This would be a good thing to take to like a potluck or family reunion or whatever. Cause it's really pretty. I mean, look how pretty it is. And the cake is really moist. It's good. I'm pleasantly surprised.